Okay, let me just uh, briefly about uh, explain about our simulator. Okay, this is uh, so we call our table unit for parameters. Uh, what is this uh, demo unit is actually uh, showing is that uh, these are the confined cables, uh, tight space cables inside the circuit board. Okay, you can imagine that. So these are these are not actually a real cables, but you can uh, imagine that these are the real cables. So uh, this is our conventional model, the three two nine three. Okay, it has a round shaped jaws, right? Round shaped jaws. So with this kind of uh, parameters, uh, it is hard for you to clamp inside the cables on the middle cable, right? Like this one, it won't fit. Okay, even though I push quite hard, and uh, you can see that. Uh, it won't fit at all inside the middle cable. But if you use the latest one, is with this unique jaw design, it is uh, easy to clamp. Okay, just like that. Just you just uh, fit inside the cable without uh, any proper or problem. Quite easy. Okay, I hope you get the pictures. Okay, that is for uh, showing our how easy to clean using this uh, kind of uh, clamages. Next, I would like to use our uh, another simulator here over here. Okay, this is uh, our uh, FMI uh, demo unit simulator, right? And uh, this. Uh, show it's like a cable, right? It's like cable. When you clamp here, you can have the current value. So let's just uh, check the current value for one, right? So you can see it's about uh, 3.9 amps right now. Okay, about 3.9 amps uh, are flowing from here to here. Okay, right? Uh, next, I would uh, share. How to set a comparator? Okay. The comparator is okay. Oh, oh, oh. Long press on that button and then press the up button to set the comparator. Up or down to set the value. Right. So just now, the amps is about uh, 3.9 amps, right? So the comparator is at 3.6, meaning if we measure uh the current above 3.6 then this uh it will beep and also blow in rate okay let's just test it okay as you can see here it is uh, above 3.6 so it shows you red color and also beeps okay, it is a uh, comparator design uh comparator function here, let's just set uh, the comparator value above 4 amps, okay? So, meaning that it will beep and it will uh, also blow in red, right? So, it doesn't exceed the threshold, so nothing happens. So, uh, if you are on site, meaning that uh, there is no leakage current. If you know the leakage current uh, value or so, right? Okay. Uh, next one is the Bluetooth function. Actually, uh, this product is a uh, Bluetooth ready. Okay. Uh, you need a adapter itself. It's what we call the wireless adapter. This is a wireless adapter. You have to uh, put this wireless adapter to this product uh, inside this product. Put it inside here. It is already put inside, so I will skip that part. <laughs> and then you can use a, uh, you can connect it to iOS or Android. Now I'm using iPad, so it's iOS. And we are using our original software called the uh, uh, Janet Cross. I think it is connected right now, it should be connected, right? Yes, it is connected. Uh, 
you can see here. So this is the value when I uh, connect. Imagine. Okay, you can see the value over there on the tablet itself. So uh, you can connect it wirelessly to know the value. It's one thing, and not just that, we also have other function. I can also save the value, of course. Yeah, it will help you to make your report. Or, yeah, mostly will help you with your reports. Other than that, we also have the waveform function where you can also view the waveform on the side. Okay, now I'm measuring. You can see here there's a sinus because very, very clear. And uh, let me just uh, explain back about this. Uh, Okay, uh, this uh, demo unit, you can see here we are measuring a sine wave, real sine wave. I can change it to the distorted wave, okay? Okay, now we are measuring a distorted wave. You can check the waveform, it is a little bit distorted compared to the last one. Alright, change that to a uh, Side side is okay. Of course, the value is also available. Okay. Uh, up there, yeah, you can also give the value up here, not just the waveform, the value is also uh, on your tablet or something. So, this is uh, what you can do with, uh, uh, let's say, that like uh, enhance your cleanliness by using Bluetooth function. Connect to Jennifer's uh, apps, you can do more uh, only by measuring the uh, A command sign is showing in the FFP from the uh, another function inside the Jennifer's. Okay. okay. All right, so uh, that is one, and uh, okay, you can also turn on the filter by pressing it. You can see here, filter is displayed on the display again. Okay, meaning that it will filter out the the distorted part or the what do you think? Chicken. Okay, without filter treatment. Okay. With the fifth filter also 3.9. We move on to the distorted. Okay, uh, distorted waveform without the filter is 3.97 something, and with the filter, 3.92. Okay, it just uh, filter out the high frequency part. So as you can see just now, the waveform is a little bit distorted. So it is it doesn't contain high harmonics at all. So that's why there's not so many changes in the value. But if you are measuring uh, uh, loads that are using inverters or something, it will help you a lot by using this uh, filter function. In the distorted waveform. <laughs> Without uh, without filter, with the filter, okay. Okay, that's all for the demonstration. And